Alright, here we go. First time ever airbrushing a fishing lure. Three, two, one. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, Happy New Year, 2022, let's, let's go baby. Right into today's video. So what we're doing today is we are gonna be airbrushing some fishing lures. I know, I know it's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm doing. This is my first time ever doing this. I have a box full of airbrush stuff. I probably watched about 72 hours worth of airbrushing videos. Like I've been watching, there's not too many airbrushing fishing lure videos. So I've been watching like t-shirts and like I've, I've been a little obsessed for the past three days. But, and I somewhat know what to do and I somewhat don't know what to do. But before we get into that, I'm gonna be doing a pretty big unboxing full of airbrush stuff. So I'm excited for that. I've looked in this box a little bit, but I haven't looked in. I've looked in it, looked at the order sheet, seen what's all. I've looked at it, looked at the order sheet, seen what's all on the order sheet, but other than that, I have no clue what's in the box. Well, I know what's in the box because I ordered everything that's in the box, but I don't know what's in the box. I have a whole bunch of stuff on the table behind me. I'll kind of tell y'all what my plans are for the stuff on the table. In a second, I made a couple trips to Harbor Freight and Walmart. They have good cheap tools that are gonna be able to help me effectively or more effectively airbrush my fishing lure. So I'm gonna open up the box first. We're gonna do a little box unboxing, a big box unboxing, and then we're gonna do all the stuff on the table. So stay tuned. Thank y'all for hanging out with me today. If you are new to the channel, click the subscribe button. We do a lot of stuff like this. We don't only airbrush fishing lures. We do fishing, we hunt. I've been doing a lot of hunting in the new year. Haven't seen that many big deer. I've been seeing a whole bunch of does. If you wanna come doe hunt, come on. $5,000, you can kill a world-class doe. We have them. Bucks, they're just not. We haven't seen too many bucks, but hopefully when the rut kicks in, we'll catch one cruising and we'll be able to catch it all on camera. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe, like this video, comment. What color pattern is your favorite pattern? If you like a sexy shad, comment sexy shad. That's kind of a hard word for me to say. If you like red and black, comment red and black. I don't know what we're gonna do today. We're gonna unbox the lures and then we're gonna hopefully get inspired. All right, so this box, we have a box full of airbrushing materials. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Just like looking at some of this stuff. I thought these packs were like one single fishing lure. I didn't realize that they came in a pack of five and I ordered a whole bunch of them. So we're gonna have a whole bunch of opportunity here and I'm very excited for it. Then we got like some Whopper Plopper Choppa looking things. Heck yeah, dude, this is gonna be fun. Whole, whole bunch of stickers. We'll put one of those on our new microwave. We might sticker out our new microwave. Not really sure how to use it, but we'll figure that out. And then our air compressor, oilless air compressor. All right, and what are these bigger crankbaits? Shoot, yeah, we are about to have so much fun with this, guys. You have no idea. I'm kind of excited. For this. So apparently, I ordered way too many of these. I thought that these came in like one pack, so I thought I was getting three, but I ordered three packs of five, so I have 15, and I have 15 of everything. So, um, let's get it, I guess. <laughs> All right, it's cool. It's cool. It's fine. But we have a whole bunch of jerk baits. I got five packs of jerk baits here. So we're gonna be probably doing a jerk bait today. We might do like a red and then like a shad pattern. I've never done this before, so it might take me a few tries. It's probably good that I have more. All right, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to organize all this stuff too, because this room is starting to slowly get messier and messier. I just have more stuff and more stuff accumulating and it's starting to bother me. Okay, so um, all this is pretty much self-explanatory. We have a heat gun. You can use that to heat up your fishing lures before you paint, and also it helps dry the paint. If you're a little impatient like I am, this is your air compressor that connects to your airbrush, which I mean, that's pretty much self-explanatory. You need air to blow your paint out. Next, these are all of the fishing lures I have. I have probably about 200 of them. So we have crankbaits, jerkbaits, choppos, lipless lures, liplesses, rattle traps, whatever, you, however you should say that. We also have a whole bunch of different colors of paint. There's like primary iridescent, and then there's one more fluorescent or something. Some of them are clear, some of them aren't clear. Some of them are like primary paint, secondary color paint, and then like glossy paints, if that makes sense. So we have a whole bunch of different stuff. There's no doubt in my mind that we are covered for the rest of this year. We can paint 
200 lures and we'll be good and also a cool thing that we can do is we can repaint older lures so like if i find lures at a pond or something like that i can come in here and repaint those so if you want to see a video like that where i go and collect like crankbait stuff like that clean them off and then come and repaint them and give them like a second life second chance let me know we can have larry's second chance lures or second hand lure channel maybe this is something i just kind of thought would be cool i have two different thought processes on this i'm not really sure how it's going to work but we're going to try it out and i was like what if we screwed these together because they have like a wooden frame on the back so you screw two together paint will brush off on this and like you'll be able to see all like your back colors and stuff and it'll kind of like show you your where you've been with your paint colors i don't that made a lot more sense in my head when i tried to explain it that made zero sense y'all are probably laughing at me but we're gonna screw these together and we're gonna like kind of paint inside of this so we don't paint all over our wall and paint all over our table and stuff like that so All right, so problem number one with our project, our screws are too short. So we need, we have one and a quarter, we need two and a quarter. So we're gonna have to go to Home Depot, find some screws, and then we'll be back. We should be ready to go after we get some of the screws, so. All right, so I'm thinking we start off with the jerk bed. I feel like that'd probably be the easiest thing to start off with. Instructions, airbrush lessons for beginners. Should I read this? Yes, will I probably read it? Probably not. Free airbrush cleaner through airbrush until. All right guys, we're pretty much ready to go. I think we have everything all set up. We got our airbrush working. We have jerk bait, sandpaper. First step is to sand our lure so the paint sticks on us a little bit better. I mean, it doesn't take much, just give it a rough texture and you're good. This is probably a great sound. I know y'all are loving hearing this. All right, airbrush that off. So we might need more than I think we'll need. Like everybody in the videos, they were only pouring like a little bit in their cups. So. All right, here we go. First time ever airbrushing a fishing lure. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. Probably should put the top on it. That's probably why that top comes in there so you don't dip the paint out everywhere. We're learning. <laughs> Try to make like a blue shad flash mixture. So we're gonna take these two and do that and see what we come up with. You can barely even tell that it's a flash on there. Like I'm sure you probably can't see it on the camera, but it just gives it like a little small sparkle. You can kind of see it. 
maybe up there what it looks like. black back on this one. Take this piece of paper that those clamps were on. And these circles right here, we're gonna use them for the eyes and the kill spot on those lures. But all right, it's pretty crafty of me. Thank you. So we're gonna do it like right there. It's kind of big, but it's all good. <laughs> one thing that I can't remember whose video is probably Baker builds I want to say I was watching him Baker's builds and he's just saying like when you do when you make your lures don't stress about like it's not symmetrical a lot of times fish in the wild aren't even symmetrical so I mean a lure like this it's not gonna not catch fish because one dot is a little bit lower than the dot on the other side but um, moving forward, I will be a little bit more prepared than what I am today. I'm prepared, but there's a lot of stuff. It's my first time. Moving forward, I'll kind of know a little bit better of like I need to buy some odds and I need to figure out how I can make my dots a little bit more symmetrical just so the lures look a little bit better, just more visually appealing. All right guys, so real quick, I'm going to dip these on the video where I fish them. I'm gonna dip them, I'm gonna put eyes on them just to have a little bit of lure making in the video. This is a Mega Bass Vision 110, 120 jerkbait, I'm not really sure. This is the new Berkeley Stunner, the one that I was kinda of trying to imitate a little bit. I need to add a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow around the base, but I didn't wanna make it the exact same. See, I mean, the shape of the jerkbait is basically the same. Like This jerkbait is a little bit longer, maybe a centimeter or a millimeter if that and it's a little bit thicker it's like a little bit bigger profile but that's fine i kind of like this one looks good to me as it is this is one of the older berkeley jerk baits right here it's the cutter 110 I caught a few fish on this um as far as these go right here with the hooks and everything i like the way they turned out i think this one right here could be fishable as it is all black i might honestly just try to i think if i can get this one dipped i might not put eyes on that one i kind of want to put some eyes on that one i feel like some yellow eyes kind of like that's on this stun right here i feel like those will look pretty cool but 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the first lure making video. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you thought about airbrush and fishing lures. Something totally different, something I've never done before. So let me know what you thought about it. I know I have a lot of improvement to go. Uh, I will admit that I'll be the first one to say that I have a lot of improvement that needs to happen on these fishing lure airbrushing videos. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to fish them hard and have a great day. See y'all.